A third of all internet users are under 18 years, and over a third of them have received unwanted sexual invitations online. There are many challenges with online moderation today, but the biggest challenge is that it's often manual and requires big amount of human hours. It's reactive in nature and a driving cost for the companies. IBA's vision is very simple, to make sure that children can have a safe place when they go online. Cyber grooming is a process that evolves over time, right? It isn't one message, so it's a long process. And our solution can provide that and analyze, analyze that and flag that as a risk. We uh, analyze the chat dialogue and we do that line by line. So we don't store any data about the persons, we don't store the historical uh, chat dialogue. So once the, the chat has been through our analytic process and uh, been scored, uh, we delete the chat. The idea behind IBA is that we follow a conversation and that we evaluate every message by itself. And then based on the analysis of the message, we determine how the risk of the conversation should change. How we build the IBA technology is that we did it from a market perspective in close cooperation with selected partners. We early got access to uh, real chat data and uh, it was important for us to understand their problem and challenges. So for us it was very important that we looked at early detection. So we did not want to look at the full conversation and then at the end say that, yeah, this is a predatory conversation. We want a protection case and so we want to detect as early as possible. So we follow the conversation and as soon as we think that this is a predatory conversation, we can take action. And that was 40 messages instead of the full 3,000 on average. We are uh, helping our partners to build an effective moderator tool so they can uh, work with moderation uh, before it happens. So they can stop the cyber grooming before it turns out to be a case for the police. There is a lot to detect about a person based on the way that they type on the keyboard. So you can either look at the typing rhythm or the text that somebody is writing. IBA is working with a couple of global gaming companies and also the Norwegian police. Bakgrunden for samarbete med IBA är er ju kort och gott att för att kunna bekämpa denna typ av kriminalitet så är er vi helt avhängiga av att ha goda samarbetspartnare. Alltså polisen klarar inte att förebygga ett forska kriminalitet alene. In a cooperation with the police they often don't have an ongoing uh, chat. They have chat data of a, a suspect in a particular case, and so they have a lot of chat lines. And at this point in time, there is a, a police officer who has to read through all of that, to all of these lines, and then at some point determine, oh, this is interesting for a case against this person, and that is interesting. And so it takes a long time. I think that Aiba can have a big meaning in relation to how to handle the amount of information. Altså, det är er så mycket information knyttet till digital kriminalitet att en mänsklig hjärna klarar inte och klarar inte att det. det er en ting och så är er det nog en gång det här förebyggande perspektivet då. det viktigaste jobben är er jo, för oss är er ju hindra att kriminalitet uppstår. Today we can detect grooming conversations in less than 20 messages. In the future we will also focus on detecting other inappropriate behavior. This can be uh, for example mobbing, racism, harassment, radicalization. We hope that our technology can contribute to prevent toxicity and cyber grooming in online communities. We will first focus on safeguarding the youngest and most vulnerable people among us, but the technology can also protect and support all people in the world. The two main things that we use the internet for is getting information and communicating. And that is a lot that we did 30, 40 years ago in person, we are now doing on the internet. We will make sure that every kid and all the teenagers around the world will have a good digital life.